Hey everyone, uh, as a school principal, I use Canva a lot for a lot of the great things that my school is doing. And so today I wanna to take a moment to show you how we create super cool tickets to events. Um, in the old days, I used to just use a Word doc and cut and paste a little bit of clip art, but now I use Canva, which is super slick. So I'm gonna take a second here to show you how I make great, uh, great tickets. In fact, for a pretty um, big event, we may even have them printed, but from a local printing company um, and do it up really nice on some good paper. So um, let me jump into it. So um, I recommend that all educators have an account with Canva. It's at C-A-N-V-A dot com. Canva is super awesome and they um, even their free uh, program has just a super robust suite of options and um, I recommend everybody get themselves an account. So I'm in my free one right now. What you're going to do is click, click on create a design. And you can either create custom dimensions. Let's say you know you want it to be two by three inches or, or however big you want. The really great thing about um, Canva is that they already have a ton of templates already in. So if you just type in the word ticket, you'll see that a bunch of different ticket options open up. Um, and so you can pick which dimensions you'd like. Um, I'm going to click on movie ticket. Let's say we're going to have a movie night at our school. And you can be as... Um, uh, complex or as simple about this as you like. The really cool thing about Canva is that their templates and their photo pool is massive. So it comes with a ton of stock photos. So I'm going to just choose a template today to keep it simple. Um, and what I'm going to do is scroll through and find one that I really like. Oh, I like this one that kind of looks like a movie ticket. This shows me the front and the back. So I just click on it. Let's say that I, I just want this one front side. We're just going to do a one-sided ticket. And so what you can then do is just click in um, the toolbox uh, and change it to whatever you want. So we're going to call it family movie night. Um, Canva is super cool in that it has a massive, I'm talking probably a thousand different fonts to choose from. So let's say I want to change my fonts. I want it a little bit more, uh, let's say a little more kid friendly. Uh, what I can do is I can um, go in here and let's say I want to choose something that's fun. Uh, and let's see here. Oh, this one looks really fun. Crafty Girls. We'll just call it that. And the cool thing about Canva is that uh, it's vector based and so you can easily adjust your sizes as you wish. Um, here you can see that everything's moving all at once. So what I can do is I can actually go up here and click on ungroup and that will make everything separate. So if I instead just want to move this guy around, I can. Let's say I don't even want this. I want to delete this. I can do that. Change I want to leave the prices there, but here I'm going to change the date to uh, September 17th, 2020. Uh, and I want this to be a bolder font, so I'm going to do that. And then let's say I also want to change the colors here. I uh, Canva is giving me the option to change colors. And so let's say I want to go with my school colors, which are green and yellow. So I'm going to change that one to green and this black to yellow. Uh, I want that to be green instead and this to be yellow. Uh, um, as I'm playing around with this, I'm realizing that it's not giving me all the options that I necessarily want. This is showing me the document's color. So I guess I was just able to change the, the border there. And now let's say I wanted to change that. I want to make it black, make it super easy, but I want to leave these little yellow accents. Um, and that's it. Let's Once I've got my design all done and the fonts the way that I like them and the colors, I could even go in here and add some clip art. There's different stock photos, but then there's also elements like stock art. Let's say I want to put in here some popcorn. Sure enough, there's some that don't have the dollar sign, so they're free. So I'm going to throw a little thing of popcorn over here just for fun, make it smaller, make it aesthetically pleasing, and we'll call it good. When I'm ready to download, I'm just going to click on download up here. And I could print it as PDF, I could print it as uh, PNG, which is a high quality um, image, or JPEG, whatever I like. I like the PNG, so I'm going to print that and download. And just like that, it's saved to my computer and I'm ready to go into a uh, just printing these out individually. The other option is to create a bigger document where I cut and paste this image directly into it. So you've got lots of options. There you go. Enjoy.